G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I have a new favorite sport, and it might sound like an outrageous statement, but we've had no footy for four or five months, and I've been bored in this summer time. The Big Bash hasn't quite been filling my cup up. Well, I got really into the test when it came to Melbourne, obviously, but some of the other games were a bit of a snooze fest that I didn't really sink my teeth into. So now, I've had to look elsewhere for sport. I've had to tap in to other codes. And I've absolutely fallen head over heels with the NHL hockey. I was just sifting through YouTube one night and I saw this mini ESPN doco on Trevor Zegras, who's one of the most exciting NHL players uh, coming through. And after I watched that one, I was like, man, hockey's so cool. This kid's so cool, absolutely love him. And then I got recommended one and it was Jack Hughes. And it was this kid who got taken pick number one a couple of years ago. He had a bit of a tough start to his NHL career and now he's absolutely firing. There's a quote by Mike Tyson when he walks into a ring. He's not confident. Then the closer and closer he gets to the ring, the more confident he gets. And then he gets in the ring and he's deadly. And you know, that's very similar to me. Now, the reason I liked Jack Hughes is because he reminded me of this new generation of athlete. Uh, Jack Ginevan in the AFL probably embodies this as well. These kids come through the ranks and they bring their confidence into year one. 10 years ago, rookie athletes were very shy, spoke when spoken to, and just try and gain the respect of the team. But this new generation of rookie athletes, they know their worth and they bring their skill set and their confidence to the table, which I think makes organizations better quicker. I love this clip of Jack Hughes saying that even though he had a bit of a shit start to his career, he never lost the confidence. I was the first overall pick and my first year I struggled. In 61 games as a rookie, Jack scored just seven goals. How did you refine your confidence again? Well, I never lost it. Like, I mean, I could go like five games out of point, and I'd be like, probably still thinking I was the man. Like, and that was just completely not the case. So now that I've discovered the New Jersey Devils, they are my team. Jack Hughes is my guy, and the New Jersey Devils are my team. Fuck. It, it makes sense that I'm going for the New Jersey Devils because I go for the Melbourne Demons in AFL. I really like Manchester United, the Red Devils in the EPL, and now I'm getting around the New Jersey Devils. So. The demon, the devils, it just makes perfect sense. Since watching that Jack Hughes mini documentary, I haven't missed a devil's game. I am just a full-blown nuffy who can't get enough of this stuff. Friday, right I've just gotten back from the gym. I'm sipping an iced coffee in the middle of summer. Watching my new favorite sport, NHL. Yeah, I think the devils are undefeated since I started watching them. So maybe I'm the lucky charm. Maybe I'm working a bit of magic supporting the lads, but Jack Hughes in career best form. He's 21 years of age, pick number one in the draft. Just doing great things. He's a franchise player. He's a generational talent. And I love the great man. We're down one nil. That's pathetic. I haven't seen us lose yet, so I reckon I'm genuinely gonna be frustrated if we lose. In a couple of games that I've watched that we played, we go down like one or two early and then we just fight back and win. No concern, no concern here, down by a goal. Two nil down. <sighs> this sucks. It's tough being a Devils fan, man, like the inconsistency. One week we're up, one week we're down. Um, we were down two nil, I reckon, last time I watched this play, maybe against San Jose, and we got up and won. So I'm gonna back the boys in here, but it's not a great start, and I'm, I'm furious. Come on, the boys are back. The boys are back. Told you, we go down and we always fight back. It's 2-1 in Seattle, enemy territory. The boys, in this second term, have come to play. They've tied it again. Again, they've tied a game and they've come from behind. Two goals down. It's now two all and we had one less player on the ice at that time. What the hell? Seattle have put themselves up by a snag again. After all that hard work to equalise, we went down by a snag, and that was easy. Come on, boys. Three minutes to go, it's not looking good, lads. This could be the first L that I've watched with my new favourite sporting team, this little tactic. So with two and a half minutes to go, we've pulled our goalkeeper off, which means we're playing without a goalie, but we have an extra attacker to be able to create a chance. So 
The Devils are playing with no goalie. It's now or never. We're throwing the kitchen sink at this one. Come on, boys. Yuzi. They found Yuzi. A minute to go, Jack Hughes gets it into the mixer. Our man Jack Hughes gets it in. He gets the assist. He gets it in amongst the pack and they've equalised. You are kidding me. 3-3 I'm telling you, they've done this in multiple games that I've watched. That they're down and out and they find a way to pitch a We're into overtime now, lads. Next goal in the next five minutes wins. That is... And it's only three on three, so there's two less players on the par. Next goal wins. Come on, Devils. They lost. That's the first loss I've seen. They had a great chance in overtime to pinch it. Hughes with the, with the pass. They couldn't quite convert. And then a pretty rudimentary type play. And the Kraken get the dub. Oh, I hate this sport. I think what's really exciting about that new generation of athlete is they've almost come from like this NBA style culture. It's almost like NBA and hip hop have sort of influenced the new generation to really be confident and cocky within themselves, which is probably a good thing. It's like in hip hop, you sort of flex your winnings or you flex your confidence. You sort of tell it how it is. In NBA, it's a little bit like that as well. Like when you hear documentaries on basketballers talking, they just talk about how, how good they are and how confident they are and um, how how they won't be beaten and you know Michael Jordan saying I took this personally it's like that competitiveness is just littered throughout this new generation which is really really sick I was thinking for a follow-up video of my love for NHL um, I'm gonna play NHL 23 I'm gonna bring some NHL 23 content to my niche Aussie rules football YouTube channel which is very questionable but I think it'll be funny to see me have a crack at playing ice hockey on the PlayStation. And maybe to finish off this series, uh, given it's my new favorite sport, I might have to give it a go. I might have to go down to the Melbourne ice rink. <laughs> yeah, just put, put the mitts on, put the skates on. I wonder if you can rent like a stick and a puck and some skates because I want to go out there and give it a red hot dip. Once again, guys, I appreciate the support. Maybe the New Jersey Devils are our team. Maybe I've got to go and purchase a Jack Hughes top and a Jack Hughes kit. Uh, really get around our man. I think maybe this is the channel's ice hockey team. I feel like we get around the Devils. Uh, we get around the New Jersey boys and whip them home. They're having a great season so far. And hopefully they can play in some playoff games and we can, we can really get around them. Once again, guys, I appreciate all of the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Plenty more content coming soon. Uh, and I'll see you for some more videos in the future. Cheers, guys.